Warning, this video contains flashing imagery and may contain seizure triggers for those with photosensitive epilepsy. Viewer discretion is advised. We are going to break BeamNG Drive, and we're going to do so by heavily abusing an update that was recently released. In this update, there are tons of new features, including some trailers that you can link together. And I'm not sure on how many of these things you're supposed to link, but we're going to go as far as possible. Stacking one upon the other upon the other. And at the moment, the truck is already struggling, which we're not going to allow. When the truck struggles, we're just just going to keep increasing the power, adding more turbo. And with more turbo comes a whole lot more trailers. But the question is, how many trailers do I need to break Beam and G, or to break this truck? Or maybe my computer is going to die first. As I add more trailers, I can hear my CPU screaming. Yet, we're still getting usable frames, so we're gonna continue onwards. Just grab here, pull here, and we're connected. Oh, this is becoming quite painful, but still very doable. The truck is doing just fine, but I think my PC is going to be the bottleneck. Another one here. Who does this guy think he is driving so slowly? Get off the road! Alright, time to pass this loser. Nope, I <laughs> caught on myself. Imagine if I had passed on the right side. Well, we're definitely going to take this further, but I feel like going onwards until my PC dies is not going to be the most satisfying ending. My objective is to break Beam and G, not my computer. And so far, Beam and G is running pretty stable. Wait a second, break check. Yep, pretty stable. No bugs with the trailers when I'm turning, which is pretty nice. Yo, I can write my name. Eventually, something will have to give. And that something looks like it's going to be my PC, so onwards to plan B. I think this is going to be the event that kills Beam and G. Because as some of you may or may not know, Beam and G is built as a physics sim. And all of these trailers are being affected by it. So my thought being, what if we come to a complete stop? And force all of the trailers to collide together. And this 10,000 kilogram cube was not enough to do it. Hindsight 2020. So time to elevate the plans. Time to raise the bar. T time to time to do negative gravity. We're getting pretty high at this point. Oh, when should I pull the plug? When should I enable gravity? It looks so majestic, but we are very rapidly ascending. It it's been a couple of minutes. I'm, I'm going to enable gravity. Gravity is now enabled. We're going to start falling very fast. Terminal velocity has now been achieved. The truck is entirely dead. We cannot fall any faster. Oh no, I see the ground. It's so fun. I, I, I think we finally did it. I think we abused the T-Series and finally broke Beam and G. Oh, this is very broken. What an absolute mess. I've never seen Beam and G like this before. Can we break this even more? What if I reset my vehicle? Uh, oh, wait. It, it didn't crash the game, but... Wait, something does look a little different. I have most of my trailers. They're, they're entirely missing. Yeah, so I'm not too sure on what to make of this, but I feel like we can do a whole lot worse. Like, Fallout 76 during launch meets Beam and G kind of worse. And I know what you're thinking. Tox, how could you possibly break the game as bad as Bethesda? And the answer is quite complex. More trailers! Now running at a stable 20-something FPS on a map where I typically get well over 200, I think it's fair to say that I have a few more trailers. And at this point, I'm I'm even using simplified collisions, which is kind of like a cheat code for gaining FPS. There she is, the end of the hall, way down there. I am not willing to admit how long this took me to make. Casually passing myself? Wait, am I going fast or am I going slow? At this point, my computer could only handle a few more trailers, but somebody with a monster PC could probably double this. And before we go on and kill Beam, take a look at these trailers acting like a giant spring. Pushing and pulling the semi while I have my foot nowhere near the throttle or the brake. Okay. I think I found a limit, and it's probably a good time to remove some. Here goes nothing. Plan B, more trailers, and a very pissed off computer. Arise we go. I'm going to let this climb a little bit higher than the last one. Whoa, it's trying to destroy itself. Hold on, buddy. I'm trying to capture the end. I, I think that's it. I'm confident to say this is a record for at least a minute. Whoa, what is going on? Oh, oh, okay, this is it, we're falling! This is going to be one of the largest... <laughs> that entirely broke beam. Hello? Is the recorder working? You're probably wondering what happened, <laughs> and so am I. My vehicle had no clip through the ground, had respawned on its own, and eventually I was stuck on a pause screen until my computer crashed. But luckily I was able to keep some of the footage and it made for one of my favorite edits, so hopefully you've enjoyed it, and hopefully see you in the next video. Bye bye